it's me again. Welcome back to Immersive Portals. Today, we're taking a look at some more cool stuff that it can do. And let me tell you, it's freaking awesome. So the first thing that I want to test is with shulkers because a shulker at a different size could be really, really cool. Because as you know, shulkers are entities but you can stand on them and they act like blocks. Now I think a problem arises though if we break a block underneath, shulkers don't fall so we can't drop a shulker into our portal. Can we push shulkers? We can. Okay, 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 I've big brained this. Okay, shulker time, piston time, are you ready for this? This is the moment of truth. Huh, does it just go through? It just phases through the portal. Okay, well, I guess, that, I guess that doesn't work. So to see what a scaled up shulker would look like, we're just gonna manually enter the command. Okay, now let's see if the hitbox also changes. Okay, we have large shulker. Oh. <laughs> I guess it doesn't scale up the hitbox. So I can punch it looking at the middle, but I can't punch it looking at the side. Oh. It still suffocates. It still suffocates. Apparently the detection for if it's inside a block also scales up. I'm not sure what that's about, but it does. Have you ever wanted to drop giant items? Well, now you can with this all new command. So it's surprising that a lot of people don't know the commands for immersive portals and Bekui at the moment. So you can actually set your individual scale for different things. So if you do scale set drops and you set it to whatever, you can just drop things and they... Oh, <laughs> and they automatically become big. There's also a new command in the portal debug. If you do slash portal debug GUI portal and you select someplace, we'll just select the overworld and we enter these coordinates. It creates a thing on our screen. It creates a virtual camera that loads in chunks, believe it or not. And I'm just, I'm just baffled. I don't know what this is for. I don't know how much you can customize this if you need custom code, but it's a command that exists. Also, if you see my recent video, then you can enable isometric view, which is pretty cool. Now you can see things in, in weird view. That's how I like to refer to it. It's pretty cool. You make your world look like a miniature. So, you know, if you, if you wanted to do that, then there you go. Also, just to clear things up, when I say non-Euclidean Minecraft, I specifically mean the Immersive Portals mod and the Pekui mod combined. Now interestingly and good news, the Pekui mod just got updated to Forge, which is actually really, really big. It's a big deal. And that is because Immersive Portals has always been both Forge and Fabric. Pekui has only been Fabric, but Create, which is another massive mod that can work really well with Immersive Portals uh, for Forge, was not compatible with Pekui. But now it is, so you can have Pekui, Immersive Portals and Create all in the same world. Now a feature of the Immersive Portals mod, which actually isn't talked about a lot, is the new Command Sticks. Now they've been out for, I'd say, about a month but it makes life a lot easier. It has a lot of the main commands you'll need. You can now easily delete portals. You have many different movement commands. You can rotate the portals with these sticks. Now a command that doesn't get talked about a lot is the fuse view. So you can set a portal to fuse view by simply right clicking the portal with the command stick. And this is really interesting because now as you can see it fuses both the normal outside of the portal with the inside of the portal over there. I built this little platform uh, as a giveaway so you can see uh, so you can see all of the blocks. You can see blocks clipping uh, into each other that allows you to see both what's behind the portal and what's through the portal. It's It really hurts your brain. A cool way of looking at it is if I place a piece of stone here and then I go around and place a piece of stone here, now there's two pieces of stone. There's only one piece of stone behind it and one piece of stone over there, but they're next to each other through this portal. The go back command is just a useful back command. It'll teleport you back to where the last portal was that you entered. Obviously, I destroyed this portal. And this can get really useful for when you have a shit ton of portals and you are completely lost. I've done this many times in my world. So apparently, if you do scale negative 10, you go into the quantum realm. Can't say I've tried this one before. I've tried a lot of different numbers, but negative 10, not exactly. What is going on? What I'm shifting? What is happening? Okay, I guess, I guess I'll fucking die. What? Excuse me? Why have you left this comment? This is just cursed. I can't even move. I cannot move. I cannot shift. I, what is, oh please, oh my god, seizure warning, what the fuck? Well, th if this doesn't sell you on the mod, then I don't know what will. It's just, it's what the mod was built for, honestly. Apparently you want a comically oversized spoon? Okay. Can't say it's gonna treat my game well. Oh, well, I forgot to turn it on. So I set my drops to, uh, to 100. I guess we'll see. <laughs> it's just gonna go terribly. Okay, well, there go my frames. 
Is this what you wanted? A comically oversized spoon? I don't know how else I can give you a comically oversized spoon. This is the best I can do. Also, box view is pretty cool. Uh, no one talks about this. It also kills your frames, but you know, I'm going to talk about it anyway because I just, I, I can sacrifice myself for you guys because I'm such a nice person. I'll leave a link to the wiki so you can have a look at how the command works because it's just complicated. You can take a bit of space. Uh, this, this guy's not having a good time. <laughs> what are you doing? You're just going to spawn. What? Why? Stop. No. Pig. What? Stop. No. One more time or you're going to die. Dude. No. Stop. I... But it's cool because you can have like a little miniature, uh, the lag is so bad. You can have like a little miniature place of a place, you know, in, in your base and you can go down and it's seamless. So, you know, there you go. Well, that was another little non-Euclidean answering video. Please subscribe. Also, my second channel, be playing more games on there. Also, join the Discord. So, you know, stay tuned for another non-Euclidean YouTuber maze video, which will be coming out shortly. So, you know, okay, goodbye. Thank you for watching.